Hey everyone, it's Mr. N here, and we have another related rates problem. For this one, this is a related rate problem that involves a sphere. So this is how we do related rates problems that involve spheres. So a spherical balloon is being inflated at a rate of 64 pi cubic inches per second. How fast is the radius of the balloon increasing when the radius is 6 inches? Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. We're given this sphere. And yeah, okay, my sphere could have been drawn a little bit better. So sorry about that. And we've got this situation. And this is being inflated. And it says this is the rate that it's being inflated. Notice that it's cubic inches per second. And this is a rate. How do I know it's a rate? Because cubic inches per second. So this is a change in volume. So I'm going to write this as a DVDT. And this is 64 pi cubic inches per second. Now, how fast is the radius of the balloon? How fast? That's, again, a rate and the radius. So this means I need to find my dr dt. That's what I need. Increasing when the radius, they give us the radius, is 6. So we want to know at the instant that it's 6, what's happening and what it's increasing at. Well, we need one more piece of information. We need to know what we're dealing with, and this is a sphere, so we need a volume for a sphere. So the volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed. All right, since we need a dv, or we have a dv, and we need the dr, let's go ahead and implicitly differentiate this. So taking the derivative of the left side, I get dv dt, so change in volume with respect to time. Over here, I'm going to go ahead and implicitly differentiate this. I get 4 times pi r squared. And how do I get 4? Well, it's 4 thirds times 3 pi r squared. Right? I took the derivative here, and then the 3's cancel out. And now I need the dr dt. Again, whenever you take a derivative of a variable, since we are taking these implicitly, you need to write that variable with respect to what you took the derivative of, in this, in this case it's time. So we know some things. We know what dv dt is. That's 64 inches cubed per second. 4 pi over here. Um, oh, 64 pi. I'm sorry, 64 pi is what we're given. 64 pi inches per second. And on this side, we know that this is 4 pi r, which they want us to find it at the instant that it's 6. 6 squared dr dt. So I can go through now and solve for my dr dt. That's what I'm looking for. So over here, the pi's will reduce out. This is 6 inches in squared. It'll be 6 inches squared. So the inches over here, the units will end up just being inches per second when I'm done. So you end up with 64 equals 36 times the 4. And then the dr dt. All right, cleaning all this up, you get dr dt comes out to be 16 over 36. That reduces, there, and then this reduces down to 4 ninths inches per second, which is what my dr dt is for this problem. So again, the keys to this one, let's outline some of these keys, is to know your dv dt. You need that. So you had to implicitly differentiate at this point, right there. And then you just plug in the values you know and solve it from there. So hopefully these spherical rates of change, have uh, this example has helped, and good luck with your related rates.